or anybody about who is my friend, who is not my friend. Be careful. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes in college, we get exposed to people from different homes, youth from different homes, and their behaviors there, our behaviors start changing. Because at every given time, we'll go out of our homes and we'll meet with people. So it's good to have a good foundation, like we are getting here at the camp. It will help us. Ukibaliza seko in here college, utabihema aje, utatafuta marafiki wa inagami. Hmm? Yeah. Because in college there's so much freedom. Yes. Na huku ndio mambo uharibika. Unakuta day wameenda kusoma ati ameenda university. Ameshikana na chali huko. Wanaishi kwa nyumba moja. Unaenda kumfulia nguo huko na kumoshea vyombo. Yeye anasoma, wewe umekuwa kawaifu. Sema kawaifu. Wewe hata si wangu ni kawaifu. Na ukiwachana na yeye unadungu wa kisu. Ya ukweli, kuna mungina ya medungu wa juzi tukisi. Haka yes. kufa. Yes. A very young girl, beautiful. Yes. Sayo hata urembo yonwi, ikisu unakula. Yes. Mtu wanakuwa na haja kuwawa, hata wazazi waki ya wa, wazazi waka wa mjui. Wanakuwa tukwa TV, hati hundi ya mewa kuchana wenu. Hami ya mwazako ni kubaya. Yes. Tuna wasaidia kusikuwe kubaya kwenye. If you go to school, every day you find every day you go to school, every day you go to college. Right time with a fika. If you are a girl, you will get your Mister Right, and we will also teach you how to get your Mister Right. We will teach you the seven pillars that you check. You will do a mutu ni right, ama si your right. For now, teenagers, si na haja kwa fundisha hizo, but your time with a fika, we will tell you how you can know the right person. Usituambie mimi usiponipea wewe nitajinyonga. Ukinikataza uchali na jinyonga. Na wengi hata wajinyongi. Ame move on. They are seeing somebody else. Sio ndio lugha tunasikia. I am seeing somebody else. When you are not seeing this other one. <laughs> anyway, hii ni lugha nyingine mwelewi. Ni wale wengine wamekaa huko nyuma nyuma. Yaani kesi tumeenda Kusaidia za mkapolo. Tukidhani ni husband na wai. Na we ask them. Na they even have a child. Eh? Tukiwa uliza. Sasa mna ichi hivye. Si huli wife ya. This lady is not my wife. Wana mwita this lady. Na hata wana mtoto nae. Na wanaishi kwa mwenye wana lala baby mmoja. Lakini anasema ni this lady. Nika chukua uyo dada kando. Nika muliza kwa hini. Who is here, my dear? You know, we are seeing. Yeah, it's not almost like a black kid. Now I got to go to the hospital. We are just seeing. Seeing what a seeing means. To now, 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 to now, 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 Alafu wenye shida tumeambiwa percentage kubwa ni wasichana. She is being bullied without knowing. Na wewe mtu anamchapa. Vizuri tu. Taka adoroke aende kwao, tena arudi kwa huyu. Uchinga, uchinga. Bana sapa. Hata baba yake anaweza kusema hapa tusudi usichana aende kwa huyo mtu. Anyway, hawa wameamua hivyo. Please try me kwa wana ikifika mtu wako yuko. Mutu wako yuko. For every peacock, there is a peahen. Even in the ark of Noah, even the chameleon had a wife. How can you miss yours? Even a mosquito had a husband. How can you miss yours? We need you to not have to 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 have we, we are going to begin a video on a particular and a few of his humanity for the future. To the rest, just a matter of things to avoid. I want to finish my topic. When you relate, be careful about number one, flatting. Flatting, see your flat, your flat, your chin. Flatting your F L I R T I N 
Ni
because we are going to do it. You know, there are those who are pretending they are very good. Ah, let me see that in my own. Who brought the call to do from teenage? Please avoid sexual relationships. Avoid kabisa. God has judged the world many times because of ungodly sexual relationships, including Noah's time. God judged Sodom and Gomorrah. And many others have no time. Dangers of sex before marriage is dating violence. You know, in this generation, people believe if we are in a relationship, we must have sex. Do you know the end time promise for young people? Joel 2.28. God says it shall come to pass in the last days. I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And this youth, nini mmekaa hapa, diyo mnatakiwa mumiminiwe roo mutapatifu. Mutupatie direction, you will prophesy. Both girls and boys. So because the devil knows it's the end time promise for the church of God. And the promise is also for young people. Amekuja kuleta tamaa ya kuchafua hivi hili ambayo ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu. Mfanye vitumbo mchafue hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu. Yet you should be powerful people. Hata kutishwa na wao maprofeti tunaona kwa TV na wale wengine fake fake. Prophets wa kweli wako hapa. Amen. So, dangers of sex before marriage, dating violence, rivalry. Because you may only have you, may only have you, may only have you. Now my violence, you are scared to don't get a visa. Sexual abuse, unwanted pregnancies. There must be natural teenage pregnancies. Promise quit you, Kahaba. What are you supposed to class five? You are Kahaba tired. Drug abuse. I think we will show you alcohol use of contraceptives at very young age. Suicide, depression. HIV and STD, sexual transmitted transmitted diseases, abortions, rebellion, rebellion. Those are the two we are not going to I don't give a I'm ready to take you in. A teenager, my zako. So we are free. We to teach you. You man, you easy and you. How we believe How we see too much because somebody has confused you. Please never rebel against your parents. You come back to the foundation. How blessings come through parents and how you relate to your parents. Yes. Even your blessing, peke yake kona promise ya mungu. Uh-huh. You want to perform well in school, just respect your parents. Yes. Na kwenda kulalalala na wanaume, bila rungusa ya wazazi, siku ya harusi, unafikiri dadi ya kisinikiza mchana wake ya memango ya white, si anajua na enda kufanya hiyo maneno. Yes. Siku hiyo anampe ana official hii, enda panya kazi sasa. Hmm. <laughs> Siku hiyo ndio umepewa rusa na baraka. Lakini ukienda kujianika anika kama ile samaki wa kukaushwa. Leo <laughs> ubaambo kwa lugha nyingine. Umekuwa ubaambo. Wewe bila rusa yao haina baraka. Haina <laughs> tatizo ni billion. Inaitwa papa. Obambo ni samaki yote ule amefunguo leo akaani kwa hivyo. Eh hata papa huyo anaweza kuwa obambo. Avoid fake love. Ile inaitwa infatuation. Unajua kwa kwa tini just kuna mambo matatu. 3 C's andika haraka haraka my time is over. 3 C's. Number 1 is chemistry. 3 C number 1 is chemistry. Ambayo mnaita crush. Unajua hiyo mambo ya crush? Tuone crush wangu. Crush ana ku crush. Hata hiyo jina tu hiyo neno crush kweli ni kuku crush. Number two, closeness, be careful. Inaanza na chemistry, then you start coming close. Number three, commitment. So, for those who are in that age of marriage, wale wakubwa wakubwa hapo nataka kuoa. Eh na kuolewa hapo sasa huwa tunawasaidia na mambo ya courtship. Lazima chemistry ikuwe. Mungu aliweka the gift of attraction. Yeah. It's not sin to be attracted to, be the, to, to the opposite sex. Yes. But wait for the right time. Yes. The Bible says in the Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verses 6, 7, do not stir up love before its time. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 6. Praise God. Usiamushe mapenzi kabla ya wakati wake. Teenager sio wakati wa mapenzi. Kuna wale sasa wamefikia hiyo umri. 
na lazima ikuwe na commitment sasa kwa wale wamefikia hapo because love and infatuation are two different things infatuation is lustful love ile upendo ya kutamani tu ile wa mtu na ile utapata kwake si upendo halisi amen Hallelujah. So teenage relationships do not go beyond the first scene. Ya teenage as I pitaki hapo, inaishia tu hapo. Mekua na crash, mumefanya vile mumefanya, na manyono imeisha because they are hormones run high. High, high. Dada kizumba, mimba ilisha ingia. Anashidu wafanya haji hapo sasa. Dugo na ya nakuluka kama masai. Mimi. Hii manyono misi juhi. Mimi. Kutu baba yao mtoto. Na yeye vijana hapo ana wandugu kuunga. Nafikiri ya bosho unamalizia hapo. Hausaidi God will judge. Usikute watoto kwa na moja mbinguni wanafanana na wewe. Watoto 20. Unafikiria wewe utamalizia hapo tu unaacha dada kwa shida. Utajibu maswali. Atumalizie hii life hapa. So as I said, we cannot handle love because kuna ile kitu inaitwa prefrontal cortex of our brain it has not fully matured so you cannot handle love you cannot even handle that in infatuation or feel unapenda mtu hapana it's just a ile ka feeling good to ka feeling good but it's not usually the right thing so what do we do i want to finish by telling you please stick to the right people get the right mentors how are we shown for your life as a teenager have a vision for your life and pursue that vision kuoa na kuolewa ni automatic god created marriage he is the author of marriage you will get your partner at the right time so don't start practicing things that are not right at your age seek guidance in case you feel something is not right with the person you are relating to somebody is approaching you in a wrong way please seek guidance usinyamaze amen live a purpose driven kind of life galatians 5:19 andika galatians 5:19 then the other thing is flee youthful lust second timothy 2:22 alafu niseme kitu kuhusu valentine maana naona pia naingia kanisani siku hizi as i close mbona sikia kuhusu valentine When is it celebrated? Aha, unajua sana eh? February 15. Forty. Oh, kumbe hata mnajua mimi ndio nilikuwa nyuma. Sababu hiyo vitu si celebrate. Now what is it about? Is that the only thing to love one another? Sisi tunapendana kila siku. Kila siku ni siku ya kupendana. Na kila saa bila zawadi hata wakati mwingine. Yes. But these are things that have come to finish off what is God is. Because the origin of actually ni kitu ime celebrate in imagine ina ina kibadilika badilika but ni kitu ilikuwa inafanywa as early as the 4th BC before Christ. And men would go out siku ya hiyo festival wanapiga kama kura wanapigia chana fulani anapigiwa kura wakishinda wanamchukua till the next season and it is celebrated to gods and goddesses of fertility of women it is something last full but squeeze naona paka makanisani imeingia pole pole the spirit of the enemy is seeping in then the question is na nawapea assignment tukikutana next cup kwenye jeep kwa nini zawadi zote za Valentine wadi za wanawake? Na kwa nini ni red? Tuko wakati wa CBC na mimi pia nawapa assignments. CBC has so many assignments. But I'm also giving you one next youth calendar. Mimi nataka nijibwe ile swali. Why are most gifts for women and why are they red in color? Do that research. Come and answer me in our next calendar upate zawadi otherwise for now i have to stop there may god bless you so much thank you for listening to me
Amen. Hallelujah.